Well, it was a disaster for Queensland Labor overnight, with voters sending a very strong message to Stephen Miles. Now, you had two by-elections yesterday. The seat of Ipswich, Ipswich sorry, West, been held by Labor since 2001, except for the Newman government, and Inala, which was Anastasia Palaszczuk's seat and her father's before that. Now, Labor suffered a 15% swing and lost the Ipswich West by-election, and in Inala, Labor retained that seat but suffered an almost 31% swing. Finally, something that Stephen Giggles-Miles couldn't laugh about. Well, holding on to particularly Ipswich West was always going to be very hard. I said that. Um, this result, these results are clearly very bad. Uh, I was expecting a bad result and they're even worse than that. Clearly, they wanted to send us a message that we need to work harder, particularly on cost of living and on community safety. Look, looks like he's just rolled out of bed. But opposition leader David Crisofulli, as you can imagine, was on a high after these results. So I say to Queenslanders right across the state that it is time. It's time to get rid of a very bad government in a little over half a year's time. So to those Queenslanders thinking of voting for us for the first time, we are a unified and focused and disciplined opposition. So whether you're a minor in Mackay, a roofer in Rocky, a landscaper in Logan, this is your opportunity to get rid of a very bad government after 10 years of declining services. This state needs change. And tonight, residents in two Labor Party heartlands said enough is enough. I mean, we expect to swing against an incumbent government, Paul, yada, yada, yada. But we're not talking about small swings here. We're talking about a... a an annihilation, basically. No, the machine uh, has faltered in Queensland and I couldn't be happier. But that said, <laughs> I've seen this many times before where you think the Queensland government's on its knees and it's about to get blown away. But the Queensland Labor machine is relentless, it is fearless, it is shameless. So they've got a lot of time and they're in government between now and October to do their best to, to do something about it. That said, you know when a government's on the nose is when, put simply, people just don't give you the benefit of the doubt anymore. It doesn't matter if, uh, in this case, youth crime's out of control. You could introduce 50 new laws that are 17 times tougher than anything that's ever been in before, but if they just don't trust you anymore, mm. they don't care. You can hand out $1,000 to every single voter, but if the benefit of the doubt has gone away, then take the money and run. I think we're at that stage now. A um, couple of things that were also really interesting about an insight into the state election was that uh, the Liberals held on to the mayoralty of Brisbane City, mm -hmm. That was really important because the expectation was that the Greens were in some sort of surge and may well end up getting in a strong position. Um, don't quite know how the council's going to pull together, but the fact that that was won pretty easily and early in the night shows that that southeast conversation uh, that Labor often uh, needs to do to uh, uh, bulk against upper northern losses isn't there. Townsville is fascinating too. Jenny Hill has been the Lord Mayor there or been around local politics for the best part of 20 years. Um, she's a, a strong Labor woman um, and I've always had great dealings with her as the Townsville Mayor. But when we were there a few weeks ago, you could tell something was on. And right now, tonight, uh, the One Nation-backed candidate is actually leading in, in that mayoralty race. That matters because even though youth crime's been around a couple of times in state elections... Um, three of the four Townsville MPs keep being elected as Labor. Yep. Um, if that falls away, well, then Christopher Lee gets closer to where he needs to go. Only a note of warning is on the Sunshine Coast. Uh, now, the Sunshine Coast at the last state election, which had been previously hardcore roll gold blue, uh, went red in part because of COVID, keep the borders safe, older population. Looks like there's a teal-ish mayor that has been <clears throat> elected there and whether that means that those seats going back to the Libs go via independents or teals. But, of course, massive night for the Liberal Party, everything heading in the right direction. But uh, don't be surprised if between now and November we start to hear, we'll lose the Olympics if we change the government. <laughs> um, and my favourite detail was Stephen Moles putting on the Maroon State of Origin hat, hat doing it hat of votes, please don't, please don't. And they whacked you anyway, pal. <laughs>